Welcome back to ABC 7 at 6. I'm Stephanie Valle. And I'm Eric Elkin. Love at first sight. That's how one El Paso couple who's now living in San Antonio describes the moment they first saw their now five-year-old daughter in the NICU wing of a hospital. But this love story comes with some bumps in the road. And now the couple is asking for the community's help in their journey of getting their adopted daughter to do the one thing most of us take for granted, eating. ABC 7's Iris Lopez shares the Chavez's inspiring story. It's just a miracle to watch this baby who wasn't supposed to make it do all the things that she wasn't supposed to do. Ana Chavez was a NICU nurse when she first laid eyes on her now five-year-old daughter, Natalie. Came onto her case as I would any other, any other patient, and as soon as I saw her, something just clicked. There was no doubt in Ana's mind that she wanted to adopt Natalie, and her husband was on board too. But Anna had one minor detail to add to the story. And I said, um, I have one more thing to tell you. And he goes, what is that? And I said, she's a twin. And I told him that if we were going to do this, we would take them both. On August 15th of 2016, Anna and Adrian brought home Natalie. And one month later, her twin sister, Nadia, would join. They are inseparable, as you can see. Natalie was given a terminal prognosis by doctors when Anna first met her. He didn't even think she'd make it to her six month oh. birthday. Five years later, Natalie is no longer terminal and she's doing everything doctors said she would not be able to do. However, Natalie is still unable to eat normally and Anna and Adrian are asking for help when it comes to giving their daughter the chance to eat like everyone else. She can't enjoy the foods that we enjoy. Um, and so we want to give her the chance to take part in, in those family those family meals. Anna and Adrian are hoping to travel to Boston to participate in an intense feeding clinic with the Kennedy Krieger Institute. Insurance will not cover the $200,000 cost that will include Natalie's therapy, school, and nursing care, among other things. My goal now is to give her the best life she can possibly have. And one very special princess is hoping for that wish to come true even more. Princess, so what do you want people to know about your sister? Well, I want them to know that I always help her when she falls down. And I want her to learn how to do everything that we do. Iris Lopez. Thank you. <laughs> ABC 7. And the family is still a long way from reaching their goal of $200,000. So if you'd like to donate to the family, you can find a link to their GoFundMe page by clicking on this story at KVIA.com. What a fighter, mm -hmm. right?